Ladies and gentlemen, now today I'm a little bit taken aback by the craziest banner that I've ever seen in the history of the game. And I'm not even like, you know, I'm not even highballing this one, boys. This is honestly insane for new players, insane for returning players, and I cannot wait to see this banner on Global. So it's a banner where you've got entirely free summons. There's no gems, there's no paying on this banner, and there are 10 steps on it that you get via logging into the game, and every single character that you pull from this banner is instantly level 80 fully six star awakened <laughs> that is nuts i am on a rank two i'm on a level two account here and we can instantly i believe go into a level 80 blue demon meliodas which is crazy man if you think about the amount of um uh, power that is for a new player it takes so long to actually get to the point where you can get like level 80 characters in the story but now instantly with this comeback banner i think we should be able to summon on this banner and get a level 80 six star character immediately on a brand new account so we're gonna we're gonna test this out uh, and then have a look at the rest of the banner as well but again if we pull any of the characters in this banner they're also gonna instantly be level 80 and uh, six star away Good. And this this is insane, man. This is just absolutely insane. Because uh, there's so much guaranteed value. Again, we haven't talked about um, uh, some of the other characters. But it's just loaded to the brim of god tiers here. But I don't think any of the other characters outside of the SSRs are level 80 uh, and fully awakened. So no SSR, no level 80 additional character. Uh, but again, to a certain extent, it doesn't matter. Because the best characters are guaranteed. So again, this is a level 2, rank 2 account here. Let's double check, just make sure it does work for <laughs> new players and beginners. So all I needed to do was complete the tutorial, and then I needed to log out and log back in again to get um, uh, the first ticket on this. And again, let's have a look. We've got Insta, level 80, 6-star Blue Demon Meliodas. That's crazy. That is actually so broken, man. I think that's like, gosh, that's got to be so, even like without gear, man, that's got to be like a good portion of the story, just completely face rolled, at least up until the, um, uh, the Hendrickson chapter, and then you might need to chuck a little bit of gear, but the thing is as well, man, like, what additional team can you build around this guy? Like, the possibilities become crazy when you look at the full banner. So you've got on day two, a fully maxed out version of the Festival uh, Celebration Hawk, and this guy is crazy for PvE. If they are buffing his passive, so yeah, it is buffed <laughs> up to the full 50% uh, until the end of, um, uh, I think December here. So yeah, d if you get that guy, man, like, you, you're just laughing. That's like everything done, probably until like chapter 10, 11, even without like really good gear, because he's crazy, man, with that 50% stat increase. But on top of that as well, man, step four, you get Red Gotha, a fully maxed out red version of Gotha. And I think as well, looking at this banner through the global lens and thinking back, you know, what is it, like four to six months ago on global where we had the blue D Meliodas banner and then a little bit before that when we had the red Gotha banner and now just seeing those characters instantly being dished out as fully maxed out six star level 80 characters I think it's great for the future of the game it's really good for players that want to return new players that want to jump in as well because again seven deadly sins is one of those games that over time there is so much um uh, farming and acquisition that it's very difficult and intimidating uh, for newer players to catch up and a banner like this being an existence man is just absolutely mental not to mention the fact uh, that this Gotha is essential for so many raids as well uh, so yeah demon matches man gonna make stuff uh, a lot easier in the future when everybody is instantly given a red Gotha and the thing with this banner as well is it's actually set to last till the end of January so on the Japanese version i believe this is going to be available for um uh what is it two and a bit months there as well which is really really nice and also uh, after gotha you have the green king as well so gray demons man gonna be pretty straightforward also the barn that's really good for what is it the red demon as well so i like that on this banner they're giving out characters that are really valuable for taking down some of the demon fights as well again gonna make it a lot easier for um 
uh, newer and progressing players just to farm the demon materials and get the rest of their roster up. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy. Again, it guarantees like, uh, what is it? I would say like four god tier SSRs. I mean, Blue Demon, Meliodas, and Gotha, definitely. Like, Hawk for PvE is really, really good. Uh, King for the right scenario. I mean, if you have a level 80 good maxed out Green King, man, he's going to be clapping so much of the stuff that you need to bring in King for the... Um, uh, the stories, that's going to be insanely valuable, but also on step 10 as well, you get to pick an SSR out of, I believe it's, uh, what is it, 12 different SSR characters here, so you've got a lot of the stuff that's generally in the banner, again, there are some good choices in characters like Hauser, Jericho, Arthur, uh, Slater to a certain extent as well, uh, but I think, you know, the best option, which new players, um, uh, may or may not realize is probably Valenti just due to the exclusivity of the character. Again, Arthur appears uh, in the part one SSR tickets. He's available in the gold coin shop as well. He's just a really easy unit to get your hands on, whereas Valenti is a little bit more tricky to get your hands on, but also has some really, really good uses. Again, if you're a new player, man, you get friggin' Valenti, and also, what is it, a uh, green king as well. You're gonna be absolutely laughing when it comes to the gray demons. So yeah, I'm just incredibly happy to see something like this on the Japanese version of the game, because it means it's not gonna be like too much longer before something like this does appear on the global version, and I think this is just absolutely amazing for players returning to the game and also players that are um, uh, just starting the game as well. I think with the power of Meliodas, though, uh, it may trivialize uh, a lot of the early game content. Let's let's take him out for a bit of a spin here. Uh, again, literally all I've done is the tutorial. This is like a five minute new account here. It's not one, again, that I uh, plan on like continuing or doing a series on because I've got like way too many accounts on the go at the moment. So yeah, I'm not too fussed about it, but I just want to see like as a new player, what a level 80 Blue D Meliodas feels like for some of the, um, uh, the earlier stuff. So yeah, we're going to skip ahead to uh, some fights here. So we just got uh, one of the first story fights. And as you can see here, we can change out our SR Meliodas just instantly for a level 80 Blue D Meliodas, man. So I think, you know, I think we'll make that change over. Uh, gives us a, a little bit more combat class than we need here. Uh, brings us up to 32,000 there. So yeah, if you get like a full team of these banner characters, man, I don't think you're going to have combat class issues for a very, very long time. Probably until like chapter 10. Like even without like the best gear. Because again, my Meliodas, he's still completely ungeared, man. And if you uh, make some common gear, get some pierce rolls on this dude, I think you, you're just laughing, mate. But let's have a look at that base damage. That is about... Uh, a 15k cleave, but again, you could get common gear, pierce rolls, man, because that's what he really needs to, like, amplify the damage. It's not so much of a case of uh, attack with Blue Demon Meliodas, because he heavily scales base off pierce. So, yeah, you get some good common gear on this guy, you could probably get that damage up to about, like, gosh, like, 35 to 45k, maybe. But it's just crazy, man. Like, this is just so much power for new players. It's going to be like an unheard of level power in this game. Going to be able to absolutely blitz through story. But considering the Japanese version now is, um, uh, what is it, going on a year and a bit old, uh, it's nice that they're adding in like a supercharged way to deal with all this stuff. So yeah, it's just really, really cool, man. I'm so glad that they're finally starting to do more stuff to kind of support like newer, uh, progressing, and also free-to-play players, because also having this information as well uh, can allow you to make maybe some decisions on conserving some resources. Like, I think definitely as well, I was thinking about taking this Hawk up to... Um, uh, what is it, level 80 on my free-to-play account? But now I know that this banner's coming, uh, I don't need to do that. Because one of the things as well to bear in mind, um, which was mentioned in the patch notes, is if you don't have these characters at level 80, when you pull them on this banner, it's going to immediately upgrade them to level 80 and also six-star them as well. So again, that would have been great information to know last week, because I know some people have already been like loving this Hawkman and taking him up to level uh, 80. But just keep it in mind, if you haven't like... um. 
uh, fully upgraded this barn or king uh, or maybe Valenti as well if you're like not in a hurry to get her up uh, so yeah just keep that in mind for the future but again the way that you do get the free summons on this banner uh, just to show you as well and all of the, the calendars that new players currently have on JP is this 14 day special one so again tomorrow we can get Hawk again I'm not going to be uh, logging on this account tomorrow but theoretically we could get Hawk and then a couple of days after that we could get Gotha and then I think it's a couple more days after that King and then I think Barn is here and then at step number 10 would be the um uh, what is it guaranteed selection but the really good thing as well is this banner just allows new players potentially i think unless you they're very well informed when starting the game uh they're probably not going to do this but having all of these crazy characters to start off with means that new players don't need to summon on bad banners right at the start of the game in order to have really good characters that are going to blitz the story so smart new players are going to be able to um uh, save up like the big batch of initial gems that they get hopefully for a really good banner that does come out at some point and maybe that banner on jp is going to be the one escanor banner uh hopefully coming next week uh but yeah also alongside that again there's 10 gems about 2 million gold and a full six star awakening uh token for a character as well which is like a very nice addition also there is this additional new player calendar which i believe is also on global now i may be incorrect uh but yeah locking in for a few weeks gives you another Another copy of Red Gotha, which is really, really nice. Uh, loads of pendants, loads of gems as well. So yeah, this calendar is just a massive win for new players. Uh, and then going a little bit deeper as well, we just got the daily calendar. I think that's, is there one more calendar? No, it's just those three for now on the Japanese version. But again, that is more than enough, man. Some really, really good stuff there. But also, just uh, <laughs> round off today's video, I thought we'd do two multis on the, uh, the Jericho banner, just see if we get anything crazy for a brand new account. Again, I don't really suggest just um uh, summoning on the spanner if you are going to make a new JP account for a little bit of fun. Uh, are we going to get any crazy animation? We got Hawk next to us. But we'll see. I mean, I've named myself Sariel Simp, so it would be very nice to get Sariel, man. That'd be a really, really good time. Also, with the uh, their discounted step two, it's quite nice, man. It means we get to do a second multi here. <gasps> oh, do we get guaranteed SSR, bro? Straight into Sariel on Sariel Simp. This will make the video, boys. Come on. <laughs> Let's have a, a little bit of a look. But again, this is uh, this is like super quick and easy to do. If you've ever wanted to start a JP account for curiosity, I think now is like probably the best time uh, to do it. Like this is just the biggest boost to um, uh, new player stuff that I've ever seen. But again, oh, we got two SSRs here. Come on, let's have a look. And we got a uh, Gahard, Gahard and uh, Red Merlin there. So again, for a new account, man, not too bad. Red Merlin is very, very interesting for the freeze. Uh, but that is uh, the end of the adventures of Sariel Simp. I cannot wait for this banner to come to Global, man. I think this stuff is absolutely amazing. And I really hope they do... Um, a bit more of it in the future where they just instantly give you the fully upgraded love lady character because again there's so much value in just instantly getting the full upgrade you got the pendants you've got the materials like all the 50 of the demon materials is just so so nice so yeah i love this stuff man i definitely want to see more of it so mad props to the jp devs for doing this and hopefully we can see a bit more of this soon on global uh but anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated uh, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.